Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to dive in a little bit more into our price markup tool, which you have access to whenever you purchase inventory automation with us. As you can see, I am managing this specific feed for this specific supplier integration. I'm currently on the price markup tab. Whenever you are applying overrides in this price markup tab, it is being applied to all of your products in this specific feed. As you can see here, we give you multiple options on how to price markup your specific products. You can do a dollar amount on wholesale, percent amount on wholesale, tiered dollar amount on wholesale, tiered percent markup on wholesale, as well as dollar or percent discount on MSRP. I am doing a tier dollar amount uh, markup on wholesale, as you can see here. Whenever something's um, the wholesale is within zero to twenty, it's being marked up fifteen dollars, twenty to fifty, thirty dollars. I can add multiple price tiers. So let's say a hundred to two hundred. We can do a markup of let's say seven five. You can come in here and mark up the price for your products as you see deem fit for your business. We also provide other little overrides such as never letting the price exceed the MSRP, override pricing for matte products or minimum advertising price products. You can add weight tiers. As you can see, we have a weight tier of um, if the weight of a product is zero to two pounds, we can do a markup of nine dollars and let's say two to five, we can do twelve dollar markup You can add multiple weight tiers. We also, you can do a minimum product price. You can do a fixed dollar addition. You can do price sense value. So 95 cents at the end of every product or 99 cents at every product, at the end of every product. You can include the drop ship fee and the retail price. You can also um, create a little safety net, prevent the price from being set below the wholesale cost. We also provide a uh, product currency conversion as well. Whenever you are doing uh, these price markups on this price markup tab, you can see a little example of the price settings being applied for a specific product. And just click through the arrow here and look through the specific products. You can also do a price markup at a category level. So I'm going to jump into the category tab here. For these specific parent categories and subcategories, you can do a custom price markup. We give it the options as well as the dollar amount on wholesale or percent amount on wholesale, you know, dollar discounts or percent discount of MSRP, whatever you see deemed fit for your business. You can also do a price markup at a product level. As you can see here, we have discounts or clearances for a couple different products. You can come in and search the SKU and add it, the price overrides for that product, as well as browse the catalog or do a bulk file upload for the specific products. If you ever want to test what the price would look like for specific products or the filter rules, come into this test price and filter rules tab, enter in the SKU that you want to look up and you can see the full story of how this product is looking, you know, what prices are being applied, uh, your potential profit, the final price of the product and will it show on your site? Yes. This is a little bit more about our price markup tool and how you can apply that to the products for selling these products on your e-commerce stores. This is being applied for this specific integration and you can do this for multiple integrations that you have set up with us for our inventory automation service.